look sloppy. Oh. Did not want to land in that. Welcome back to another video. Today we are at Pawley Pit, which is my local. It's uh, just in between Tamworth and Polesworth, so it's about 10 minutes away from me. 10 minute bike ride, either through the lanes or down the canal, whichever whichever the weather's doing. Top of Pawley Pit, that road at the top there. It's a nice little hill, so the push up isn't too bad. The trails are short and sweet. They've got a blue, a red, uh, there's a ready black, like an intermediate, and then there's a there's a black mega line then with um, plenty of doubles and nice big drop off. But as you can see, there's plenty of parking, there's toilets, there's a calf. It's a couple of quid to park all day, so it's, it's pennies really to have a nice day out. But yeah, we're going to go to the top, we'll do the blue, then we'll go down and practice on the skill section, on the tables, and there's a few drop offs there. And then we'll go back up and do the reds and the blacks and have a look at all the trails. So yeah, this is Paulie Pit, let's get it. This is it then. This is the first trail you come to coming up the hill, so you can't miss this one. It's a bit of a cross country loop, but it is still still worth riding just to get used to the ground and get warmed up a bit before you go into the reds. Oh, it's so nice to be riding shorts and t-shirt again and not getting covered in mud. Then you got to get on the pedals here because it's a bit uphill. And then back down the hill. So that's the blue. So this is the skills area, literally at the bottom of the hill. You can't miss this. You got three choices of tabletops, and then you've also got the poorly pit drops. There's some work going into this. This is pretty, pretty technical stuff. What they've built here, you can't fault them for that. The red, you do have to do a little drop off, but the black, you do have to commit and just get out of that. There's a bit of a bomb hole there, so you do have to land just where the sunshine is. But you don't want to come up short there. So for your table tops, you've got two run-ins. This is for the red and the blue. Nice and easy, duck tables. Perfect to practice on. And then the black's on its own. Pull up on these, because you don't want to go too long problem we found in the past is you come bombing into them and you overshoot them to flat and they've also got this little bonus kicker that jumps you in before you do the two tables you do have to pedal hard into the bonus jump if you want to clear it but then on the brakes because it's the flat just like that and then we'll go straight in to the free drops you really don't need to be going flat out into here so this is the blue then into the red and then into the black as easy as that so that's all your main trails all your drops all your tables but then there's also this sneaky little one here that looks like it's just designed to separate the push up from the the jump section but you can actually gap from there over and then down into that push up where the steps are it's a bit of a secret line because you have to leave the gate open and as usual you get people moaning dog walkers especially here we go then through the gate big pull Whoa. don't forget to shut the gate if you're going to have a go at that one we don't want people moaning Right, so we are back across, top of the hill. And we'll go and finish the trails. Red, ready black, and a black. Let's go get it. Into the red then. Nothing too technical on here. You can try and keep up your speed on here. Make it as fun as you can. A few pedals. Couple of little tables, bit of air. 
and then into the little mini rock garden little gap around the berm oh it looks sloppy oh. did not want to land in that oh that's really hurting my arm took all the impacts from my bad arm as well one that I broke a few years ago so I'm a bit worried about that now I took all the impact on there I'm just having a minute just give me a minute and I'll hopefully it'll shake it off and we'll carry on okay I'm going to say I think I got away with one there my wrist is sore oh it took me in again two little gaps on there but it's so sticky down in this bottom section Just gives you an idea of through the winter this is what it's all like it's just a bog oh. and that was it i just needed to get to there oh it's hurting now <laughs> it's gone really really slow i've bent all my all my lever as well on my brake that's all gone over on the top it's all bending down at the top compared to the other side well, you have offs that's part of mountain biking if you're pushing pushing for speed or pushing your boundaries well, for saying that was a red and i said there was nothing too technical that's probably my own fault but i've had some offs in the past but that's that's sore now i'm a bit worried because it, it is my bad arm but that's part of it let's get back to the top get the last two trials done and then get home and get some ice on it So this is the intermediate then between the red and the black. This is my favourite out of the three to be honest. More of a free ride line, nice little gaps, tight gaps. A couple of decent drops. I'm just hoping it's a bit drier. Another little gap. And again on the hip. Three little jumps to go back. And another one. And then into the big step down. And then there's a step up coming. There it is. Another gap. And again. And one to finish. Ah. Whew. Whew. So we'll go main line then to finish on the black. A couple of decent sized jumps, one on the turn. Into the wooden feature. Nice big gap. There used to be a drop off there. I think it's been taken out. A couple of jumps. Big jump. Oh, and then we're into the wet. Oh. And I certainly ain't trying to do these. Not after my fall. There's another jump there another double and then pedaling flat out Wah! yes that's it then that's poorly pit complete we've done the skills section the drops the tables uh, we've had a lap on the cross country the blue We've done the red, which had the crash on the free ride, which I think is somewhere between red and black, and then the black line. Even though I didn't get over that, um, the last last but one jump, it was just way too way too dodgy to be risking that through all that slop. 
but it's only it's my local we're 10 minutes away we'll come back with a full team mark and scott we'll get some follow cam hopefully you've seen enough to warrant coming here it's definitely worth visiting if you're if you're local up to half hour 45 minutes it's definitely worth coming um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, show me I'm doing something right, subscribe if you can, even if just 10% of you hit that subscribe button that watch this video, it will make a massive difference to the channel. So yeah, show it some love and I will catch you on the next one.